Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Alicia, and in today's video, we are packing for Disney World. So I'm just gonna be uh, showing you what I am taking, how I am packing, giving you some tips as well if you've never been, or if you're looking for new ideas of what to take on the plane, especially for children. We ha are a family of five. I have three kids, a nine-year-old, five-year-old, and a one-year-old. So we have a lot of things to pack. So if you're interested in what I am packing for Disney World, what I am bringing on the plane, then keep on watching. Also, just to let you know, I pre-filmed some of the things and I forgot to make an intro. So you'll see me in like different clothes. It was just because it was easier for me to film a little bit every day instead of all in one go. So let me get to the very first tip. One of the very first things that I like to do is make sure that we are ready for the plane ride. So we are officially outnumbered. We are three kids to two adults. We need all the snacks here. So I went to Target, let me show you what I picked up. Here are some of the snacks I am bringing. So first up, what I always bring is I bring gallon size Ziploc bags and I will write my kids' names on them. So this time we have three kids coming with us. So I'm gonna write their names on them and what I do is I fill up their gallon size bags with a variety of snacks. So they are in charge of their gallon size bag. Anything I put in there, they are allowed to have on the flight. I'm going to also be getting like a little sandwich size bag and I'm gonna be putting in some goldfish and some Cheerios. But this is also gonna go into my check luggage for the ride home. So, for instance, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put like two, probably two of these like crackers in each gallon size bag and then the rest of these crackers are going into my check luggage because we still have flights coming home. So I wanna make sure that their snack bags are always filled up. So I'm gonna fill them up before we go to Disney World and then once we're at Disney World ready to come home, I have to reload them with snacks. So basically whatever is left over from here, I am packing in our check luggage. So some good snack ideas, protein dense snacks are really good ideas. So I got some beef sticks and I got some nuts and then just some fun stuff like raisins, cookies, all that good stuff. And then also I got some of this milk. One of our flights is getting in super late and I don't think anything's gonna be open. So this is gonna go into our check luggage as well. I'm just gonna like kind of wrap this one up though in a target bag or something so just in case it leaks. So this is all going with us. And so right now I'm just gonna get their bags all ready to go. things that I find super handy in bringing is some extra Ziploc bags in different sizes. And the reason I do this is because we love buying snacks and all the fun goodies at Disney World and sometimes we have stuff left over but we don't have anything to carry it home in. So if I bring extra Ziploc bags, we can have this as snacks on the way home or just to have when we are at home. So these take up no room. So I just kind of squish some sandwich bags and quart size baggies into a gallon size bag pack it in my suitcase and we are good to go. One of the things I think people tend to forget, especially in this day and age where everything is cashless, is cash, bringing some cash. Just small denominations, I have some fives, some ones, I have an envelope full of them. Because when you arrive at Disney World, whether in your car or if you take a shuttle or in a ride share, you're gonna have a bell serviceman come up to you asking if you need help with your luggage and more than likely, you're gonna need help. Especially if you have a larger family like we do, I am not gonna have enough hands to juggle everything. We're gonna have a ton of luggage on hand. So I'm gonna need the help and I'm gonna wanna tip them properly, especially because this is how they make the extra cash. Let's say you're in your room and you call down to guest services and they need to bring something up for you. It's great just to give them a few bucks. So it's always good to have just some small bills on hand for occasions like that. Or if you do take a ride share and you can tip them cash directly instead of through the app. So that is another huge thing, bring some cash with you. So this is a good segue from cash to coins. You need to bring some quarters and some pennies with you. So if your kids, or even if you are a collector of pressed pennies, you're gonna wanna do this. Bring some quarters and shiny, clean pennies if possible for the pressed penny machines. They are located 
throughout all of Disney World. Everywhere you go, there are lots of them to be collected. And the best way to hold them, and I think I showed this in my Instagram. This was in the kids' stocking stuffers. It is the little M&M's minis containers. So these are perfect for holding coins. So what you do is you're going to have, usually there are about 51 cents per machine. So this is what we do. You take two quarters, you place a penny on top, and then you're gonna put it inside your container, and then you're gonna sandwich it with two more quarters and a penny on top. So that means that you have all the quarters to penny ratio as needed because it takes 51 cents per machine. And this M&M's Minis container is the perfect size for that. Put like five bucks in here. It is the perfect side entertainment for kids, especially those that love collecting them. This is a really good hack right here. So while we are here talking about money, I wanna talk about gift cards. A lot of people tend to buy gift cards and what they do a lot of the time, we usually don't do this, but a lot of people, what they do is they will buy gift cards from Target or if you have a BJ's near you, you get discounts on gift cards. And what you can do with those gift cards is purchase them for a discounted price and then apply this to your room. And so when we get to Disney World, what we will get is what we call a magic band. And with that magic band, it gets us into the parks. It also allows us to purchase purchase things from stores or purchase like dining stuff. So what you can do is when you are when you get to Disney World, you take the gift card, you give it to guest services or whoever you're speaking to. They can apply the amount of the gift card to your room, linking it to your magic band so you literally don't have to use any credit cards, any cash, whatever you have. You don't even have to pull out your physical gift card. You can just scan your magic band and it's paid for and it takes it from the denomination of the gift card. So that is one thing about gift cards, which is really cool, really convenient to have on hand. Another good thing about gift cards is, uh, let's say uh, you take a gift card with you and you lose it while you're at Disney. One of the great things about it is you are able to link this gift card onto a website before you leave to basically ensure this gift card. So if you lose it, but you've already registered your card, Disney can see that you already registered your card and they will cancel that card and give you a new gift card. That is another good thing about gift cards is that it is basically insured if you register it. Love gift cards, great idea to take with you. I just went into my room real quick because I was like, oh, I remembered something I need to bring. Now I'm sure they make a smaller one of these, but this is what I have. I'm not gonna buy anything. I already have something that works and that is a portable phone charger. It's not terribly big, it's a few inches, maybe four inches big, but I charge this and it comes with a charger and I will stick this in my backpack or my park bag so that I can keep my phone charged because you have to use your phone pretty much everywhere at Disney World. It has your itinerary, it has all your reservations, it's on there when you need to make Genie Plus ride reservations. You pretty much need your phone, which kind of sucks, but... What's going on back there? So you need your phone charged all the time. Now, if in the event you forget a portable phone charger or your phone dies while you're there, they do have little, oh, what are they? Like little sticks, like charging sticks, which I could use. I know you can purchase one and swap it out whenever the battery dies. I think you pay like $30 or something for the stick. Use it and whenever, it, um, whenever the charge is done, you can replace it at one of the kiosks. So that is another option if you forget to bring one or you don't have one. Or if you have one, you just don't wanna pack it and just wanna use whatever they have there at the parks, you can do that as well. But this is something super handy. Portable chargers. I want to show you something else that is very that is very much needed. Uh, this is for my kids. They have Nintendo Switch consoles. In order to keep the charge on their Switch for the planes, we got an Anchor charging station. Now it's a little bit more expensive, so we just got one because um, my kids can share it. Whenever one is charged, the other one can charge their Switch. But just kind of like that anchor phone charger, you charge this to make sure there's a full battery, and then you plug this in to their switch, and it'll keep it charged while on the plane, which is great. So this is another technology must-have for planes. 
my garage right now because our stroller is out here. We are bringing our double stroller. You can rent them at Disney World or you can go through a third party company, which we were debating about doing, but it was gonna save us a lot of money just to bring our own. Plus we can use the stroller in the airport. So I will link one of the companies that I use um, I, that I've used before that are great. They will deliver the stroller to your resort. You don't have to go off property or anything, which is really, really nice. So we are bringing my double stroller, but what you want to put on your stroller, any type of stroller, I don't know how you pronounce these, Car carabiners, carabiners, you want these. My husband picked up two very large ones, and the reason you wanna do this is you wanna put these on the handles of the strollers, and then you can link and then you can hang all of your shopping purchases. These are great to have. You don't have to hang on to them. You just hang them from your stroller and just keep on going. One of my packing tips, which I honestly, I can't really attest to yet because I've never actually tried it, but I'm very much looking forward to trying it, is packing cubes. Now, I've only ever seen positive reviews about this, just trying to keep your stuff all organized. So what I ended up doing was, I ordered some from Amazon, it's this brand. It is the Vecchin brand from Amazon. And when it came here and I started looking at it, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to need more. So you get six different size packing cubes in your package. And I decided I was gonna order the same brand, a different color. This is how it arrives, by the way. Amazon just delivered it right now. It comes in this little zipper. Can you just pull them out? So I got the gray one. This is how it comes. And there's six, six different packing cubes in here. And as soon as I pulled out my original package, I was like, oh no, I know I'm gonna love these a lot. So that's why I ended up ordering another one of the same brand. But then I decided to try a different brand. So let me just show you real quick. Really, really nice. I'm so excited to use these. Okay, and then I decided to try a different brand just just to kind of compare, if you guys are trying to purchase some packing cubes too, this at least gives you an option of two different brands to try out. So I got some pink ones. I'm gonna give this one to the baby, I think, because, oh, because she has the smallest little socks and pants and all that stuff. So I think packing cubes are definitely necessary. So this is how it looks like. Oh, it's really, really nice. Oh, this one's a lot larger this one as well so i am excited to give these all a try okay so i'm already seeing the difference between like this one so this one has like the pla plastic packaging on it with just a little bit of mesh this one has mesh all the way i'm not sure if having mesh or having the plastic covering makes a difference but um we will be finding out after this trip so right now my daughter is waking up you can kind of hear on the monitor all of our clothes are pretty much in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what her room looks like because our um, her room is, has all of our clothes in there so i'm going to take all these packing cubes with me and i'm going to start packing them up hopefully they work really really good One more essential is you are going to need a good park bag, whatever that means to you, whatever you are most comfortable holding. I'm assuming the majority of people watching this video are women, so I'm going to talk more about those types of things. Some people like to wear the fanny packs where they have nothing on them whatsoever. They are totally hands-free. You have the cross bodies, which I love. I have a little dooney, but it's too small. It's just good for like date night at the parks type of things. But my favorite, 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 favorite is a backpack. I just got this at Target. I needed a new backpack. I was be debating between this one and then there was another um, utility backpack that the water bottle pouch on the side was higher up so it would really make sure that your water bottle was like inside the pouch of your backpack. But what I needed was something with a lot of pockets so I needed to make sure that the front, there was like a good front pocket for my phone, a good interior pocket for, and this was a huge must, was I needed a good interior pocket right here for like my lip balm, for hand sanitizer, eye drops, because I need a lot of eye drops a lot of the time. This is super lightweight. You really do need some type of bag that you know that you're gonna be comfortable with. I like to be hands-free myself. I don't want to wear like a tote. I used to wear a tote before kids a long time ago because it was really cute, 
but once I started having kids, I was like, this is not gonna work. I need to be free. I need to be able to grab somebody if they are running away from me. So having this on my back is the best park bag for me in my opinion, but you do what you are most comfortable doing, especially if you're having long park days. You could be at the park for like 12 hours, which is crazy, but it happens. We've done that before too. So you wanna wear something comfortable. follow me here on YouTube for a while or follow me over on my Instagram you know that I need to have my collagen powder every morning in my coffee and then semi recently I've been adding these adaptogens to my coffee as well so what I'm gonna do I don't want to take this whole thing I'm going to put enough scoops in here into this gallon sized bag and I saved one of the scoops from an old container of the collagen powder so once I'm done with the bag, I'm just gonna throw the whole bag and the scoop away while at Disney so I don't have to bring anything back with me. This is another humongous tip that you have to do. You have to, because this has happened twice already to us. So pack a, a carry-on suitcase with underwear and pajamas. So twice already, they have lost our luggage. Different airlines have lost our luggage and it's always found the next morning. But every single time, we've never packed clothes before, and so we had to sleep in the hotel with just like what we traveled in that day, which does not feel nice. So I have some underwear and socks and pajamas all rolled into everybody's set of pajamas. So everybody has everything they need for in case they lose our luggage again. We are able to at least shower, put on clean pajamas, and have a nice sleep and then I have just extra diapers for the little one in here. So that I highly recommend doing for sure. I have the boys clothes all ready to go right here. I just have their pants, shorts, shirts, sweaters, underwear, socks, all that stuff. Not too much of it, although it does look like a lot. I just like to see what I'm packing before I actually put it away. So I'm gonna give my younger son the blue and then my older, the gray, and I'm gonna see how this all works. Okay, this is seriously so amazing. So my younger sons, they are, there's still a little bit of room here in the shorts and underwear one. The shirts and sweaters is pretty full. I took a sweater out because I was like, I don't think it's gonna fit, but it totally fit. I added it back in. Now my oldest son has a ton of room still, especially in this one. They're still really loose. I could fit more in here for sure. Um, but we're fine with what we have and I mean I could technically put his underwear and socks in one of these Maybe I will because there's still a lot of room, but these are amazing. Oh my gosh So this is gonna make Unpacking and packing I think just so much easier. So I will update I think what I think what you're able to do too is just kind of stick these in the drawers at the hotel, so that's gonna be so nice. So now I have extra of the packing cubes left over for me and my husband. I have those pink ones still for her and a few of the blue ones. So excited to see what I can do with the other. To give you an idea, this is the smaller um, of the cubes because they, they have two different sizes they have this larger one and then the next size down i was able to get all of her shirts two pairs of pajamas three beanies in here so how many shirts i got 12 shirts a combination of like body suits long sleeve and short sleeve shirts in here two pairs of pajamas and three beanies fits nicely it's gonna zip up very nice the difference really between this brand and here's the larger beckon brand okay this is the larger of the Beckin brand right here. So you can kind of see there's a big difference between the two. This completely covers the other one. 
Um, so this is way bigger. Now, I almost think as far as which one I like, let me zoom you out a little bit. As far as which one I prefer, I mean, I can't really judge just yet because I want to actually see them in action, take them on vacation. I don't know, as, as far as like, I like being able to see more of the through the mesh right here. I kind of like the feel of that. I am worried though about things snagging on the mesh and then it ripping. Um, and this is plastic. So I don't know, um, but you can kind of see through this as well, which is again, which is really, really nice. So we are just going to have to try these out, see how they work, but I, so far I'm really, really loving them. Oh, and then also I use the smaller bag for her shoes and then all of her socks. So these are all ready to go. So the kids are all packed and ready to go. This looks like a lot in the camera, but really the cubes are not that big. Like they really aren't, but they fit so much stuff. It's incredible. It's gonna make things just so much cleaner. And my poor pug, he knows something's going on. Things are being packed. He knows we are going to be gone for a little bit, poor guy. These are packed up, ready to go for the suitcases. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started but